it is rating updates for the OnePlus 6. A couple of hours back, you saw me upload a video of how to install OxygenOS 5.1.9 and while I was completing the upload, bam, there is a new update out for the OnePlus 6. Now that is not a stable channel. We are talking about Developer Preview 3 for the OnePlus 6 and this video is going to be your holy grail for everything related to developer preview 3 of the oneplus 6 we are going to start with how to install this particular update and then i'm going to take you through the observations that i have found that you know there are a few things that are not working and there are a few things that are working and after that we will go on to check if there is anything exciting and anything new that should you know make the experience a whole lot better all i can say is this update is better than the dp2 there are a lot of things that have been fixed the camera quality is next level yes it's as good as 5.1.9 so that may you know get you into trying developer preview 3 as your daily driver so the download links will be mentioned in the description and everything else will be there as well and if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get flashing all right so first things first let's go ahead and quickly have a look at the change log and then we will have a look at some user experience pointers that i have you know gathered so that you guys know what to expect from this particular update now what oneplus says here is that the security patch of course has been updated to july 2017 updated google mobile services improved system stability fixed issue with the hotspot functionality that is good Camera, as I said, improved image quality, fixed issue with the watermark option functionality, improved camera functionality with third party apps and fixed compatibility issues with certain third party apps. Now, that is all good. Now, if we take a look at the next section over here, it says other known issues. Under system, it says it still have stability and power consumption issues. So there might be a possibility that the battery life is not that great. Bluetooth compatibility issues with Bluetooth connectivity and some apps may not function as expected when running on this developer preview. So that is everything. And you know, they go on to say that there is a chance of breaking your device and stuff like that, but we will not pay attention to that. Now, let me show you what other users have experienced who have installed this particular update. So as I said earlier, camera has all the latest updates with Google Lens, Netflix works, Bluetooth streaming works, portrait mode is working, voice over LT is there, screen calibration, different types of screen colors is working. There is a new launcher look with P icons and stuff, new alert slider look, new audio buttons look, new recent look, Bluetooth media streaming has been fixed and camera fix app looks just like oxygen was 5.1.9 okay google detection is working fine as well there's only some problem with the shelf which we are about to find out while we install it so that was all the mumbo jumbo that you should be knowing before you get into this developer preview thing what we are going to do next is we are going to install this bad boy and we're going to see firsthand how good it looks and how stable does it work so in order to install it if you've not seen the previous video you know the steps are pretty much the same the link is mentioned in the description go ahead and download that file copy it to your phone's internal memory make sure all your data is backed up because you will have to format or factory reset your device which will erase yes that will erase your phone's internal memory as well so back up everything make sure you have more than 30 percent battery because without 30 percent battery the built-in updater will not allow you to update it now considering that you have the file copied to the phone's internal memory you can go to settings the first step is to enable developer options i'll tell you why so go to about phone then go to build number okay developer options is enabled and go ahead and enable advanced reboot all right now what you need to do is go to settings go to system updates and press the little gear icon here and select local upgrade. Now over here, you see this is DP3. So the file should be in the root of your phone's internal memory. Like in the main internal memory directory, it should not be in any particular folder. So from here, tap on this update and install now. Now you'll see that this is a project treble enabled device. So it will automatically install the update and 
wait for the update to install all right so as you can see the installation is now complete and it is asking you to reboot but that is not what we are going to do because if we apply this as an ota we will definitely face a boot loop so what do we do we go back to the home screen and we then press the power button then go to reboot select recovery and touch to reboot so now when we go to recovery we will manually wipe the entire system so that the phone will boot just fine and we will avoid any issues as well all right so select english then wipe data and cache erase everything music pics etc this cannot be undone continue yes okay and then just reboot wait for the phone to boot the first boot might take you know 30 seconds to a minute maybe this is a very very fast phone so it won't really take that long but just wait for the boot to complete all right so it looks like the phone has booted up and it looks like a very very familiar startup menu so it looks like they have there you go there's the android p beta program notification the device is enrolled in the android beta program the program allows etc etc so let's hit okay i'll quickly set up the phone and then i'll show you the phone around all right so the phone is now set up and i'm happy to report that you can almost use it as a daily driver the only area where I cannot say that you can use it as a daily driver is the battery life because I haven't tested it yet. But let's start with a lot of things. Now, these notifications keep coming, so just ignore them because I've just set up the phone. Uh, well, to start with, the fingerprint scanner works, face unlock works, all the gestures are working, uh, gesture-based navigation is working. However, if you notice, when I go back, there's this flicker that happens. I don't know why is that happening. But it just happens when switching between apps there you go that might be a bug i'm not sure if that is a bug but if you have a look the recent menu is completely changed and um, it's a love it or hate it thing and it's something like uh, what they did with uh, one of the oneplus 5 updates wherein they introduced a new boot animation and waited for feedback and then removed it um, i'm okay with this particular recent menu over here i really don't have a problem as long as it works fine shelf yes the design has gone for a toss i'm thinking that they're still designing it but what i love about android p is the fluidity the smoothness which is not there even after the 5.1.9 update in android 8.1 now apart from that this is the new android p styled status bar or whatever you want to call it these are curves that we have here in notifications which is really really nice all the off-screen gestures are working fine we have dual sim voice over lt that is working so you can make calls on both the sim cards using voice over lt and switching between data should not be a problem here the camera is working effortlessly it just looks like a default camera from the latest 5.1.9 update was ported directly to this particular update the front portrait works just fine the rear portrait works just fine if you go back now you have google lens integrated as well so everything with the camera is absolutely fine the smoothness is on point i did not encounter any force closures apart from that let's quickly go to settings here i will just run you guys through the settings because the settings is the place where we find a lot of things that we daily use and you know we might find a few bugs but i don't think i will find many and whatever bugs are there i have mentioned them in the beginning so wi-fi and internet is fine because my wi-fi is working i tested hotspot that works fine i connected my motorbike helmet which works on bluetooth that works just fine apart from that automatic brightness is working theme is working color mode reading mode is working now one major bug in the previous dp2 was notch display what happens with this one here okay so they have fixed the notch display in this update so that works just fine so that's another good thing did they add always on display not really so we still don't have always on display kind of sad about that but that's okay you have all the options like battery style so okay battery percentage network speed okay display network speed should we have some activity for that yeah so it's not there in the status bar but that's fine that's probably one of the minor bugs i kind of like the new multitasking menu 
Apart from this, uh, if we go to some other settings here, sound of course everything is working. What do we have in apps and notifications? Not much. There you go. Apart from that, uh, what else? Vibration is working fine. Google account signing is working fine. We now have utilities instead of advanced. So gaming mode, parallel apps, app locker, everything is there. Pocket mode is there. OnePlus switch is there. So all in all, well, it looks like a brilliant new update and it can be a daily driver. If you have a look here, the volume icon is now different all right so you have media output as well that is another addition the very the weather is slightly different as well there you go so yeah i would say i'm more excited about this than 5.1.9 because it gives me the same great camera it gives me one of the most anticipated softwares that is going to come out that is android p and i can use it right away let me see if there are any changes to the gallery here not really the gallery just looks fine this font is something different um only the only glitch that i'm facing right now if i open the app and if i go back there's this flicker let's see if a reboot actually fixes that all right Oh, and there is a new reboot menu as well. I'm pretty sure by the time Android P with the final Oxygen OS version stable one comes out, this should be gone. But uh, I kind of like it. So let's reboot it. All right. So even after a reboot, that particular problem is not fixed. Even if I, yeah. So that problem is still there. But apart from that bug and I'm yet to test out the battery, I don't really see why you would not use it on a daily driver basis because well it's a wonderful update and i'm pretty excited about it everything is working as expected and you can definitely use it as a daily driver so if i missed anything guys let me know in the comment section this was the very first initial impression if you want me to do a full review of this maybe you know using it after a couple of days i'm ready to go ahead and do that just let me know in the comment section for now this was the install and quick quick review or preview whatever you want to call it of android p dp3 for the oneplus 6 hit that like button if you liked it and see you in the next one until then this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials take care and keep smiling goodbye